so Chip and Dale, you know, everyone knows Chip and Dale, but in this series, they are detectives. Right. Um, and from a lot of the, like, branding, it seems almost like um, The Rescuers, mm-hmm. the, that movie. Um, it, but, but they're really just detectives. Um, yeah. So I think that doing kind of a, a detective-y kind of mystery-solving thing could be really cool if the, the park guest gets to be involved with solving some of these, you know, really small mysteries. And I don't know if, oh. if we make the everything really huge so it feels like you're Chip and Dale size or uh-huh. if you've got really tiny Chip and Dale characters running around like animatronic, but I think that'd be harder to do. Yeah, I, I love the first idea because mm-hmm. I've always been a sucker for big environments like yeah. that, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, and it, that's a cool experience as well. It's kind of like a, a real version of Clue or something, mm-hmm. just without murder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's still clues. You still, yeah, try to track yeah. it down. And, and it's kind of similar to things that we did in the, the Batman episode and the Scooby-Doo episode where you're, like, mm-hmm. trying to suss out what, what what do these clues mean? How can I use this to solve this overall mystery? That'd be right. fun. And having it more more family-friendly and more brightly colored at the mm-hmm. Chippendale Park would be really cool. Yeah, yeah. And you could have, like, Monterey Jack, like, burst through the wall. Like, a giant animatronic version of him bust through the yeah. wall smelling cheese or something you know it's <laughs> there's a lot of neat ideas for this right and I, I think just going through and watching the the shows to see all those like little exciting um not necessarily tropes but like exciting action scenes that happen and mm-hmm. then trying to replicate those with specific little attractions would be really cool yeah i, I yeah. think so um did you ever play the video game for that um no i've seen gameplay of it but i haven't played it firsthand it's frustratingly it for, difficult. But was it's it such Super a, Nintendo? Regular Nintendo? Regular, regular. Regular. Cool. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun though. Just kind of like I said, you you play these my size characters running around houses and things like that. I've uh-huh. always been a sucker for that sort of thing. Yeah. So to experience that in real life would be mind boggling. That'd be really cool too. And and going to the video games for inspiration, like if you know there's one level that's a really captivating concept, we could try to replicate that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like I, I, I specifically remember there's a kitchen base level. So mm-hmm. you're running and jumping along the drawers and across oh, the sink and dodging the stove, throwing <laughs> hot water out of the pots and stuff. Wow. That could be a cool uh, a playground kind of thing also. Yeah. Like a yeah. ropes course. Ropes courses are super, super fun. Like, yeah. Um, and they can be for young, you know, young people or adults. Um, mm-hmm. There's some kind of like high thrills ones. But basically, if anyone's not familiar with ropes courses, it's. It's like an obstacle course, but you're like clipped into a, a harness with like a rope going over your head the whole time. So if you fall off, you're not going to fall like the 20 or 10 feet to the ground because usually these can be high up in the air and yeah. they'll stack multiple courses on top of each other. So there's one close to the ground for people who don't want to, you know, who are afraid of heights or whatever. And then you try to get across these, the series of like ropes. And that might be using like a Tarzan style, like rope swing, or you have to step on these like shaky little platforms and all those mm-hmm. kinds of like things. You kind of see those replicated in regular playgrounds pretty often, but these are like those to the nth degree. And you can do, yeah, like I said, multiple stories of them. And so yep. doing that themed like a, a kitchen or something would be pretty exciting where it's, it's almost like a, a ninja warrior course or something, but instead <laughs> right. of just being like abstract, like grab onto this log and hang on to it. It's like, this is a rolling pin and like you grab onto yeah. this thing to get across the sink or whatever. That, that could be, be fun. that'd be really fun to like, to d- design that out and kind of translate a, a video game, like a platformer video game into a mm-hmm. essentially side scrolling, uh, ropes course. That could be, it could be fun. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you essentially, you didn't do ropes course, I don't think, but no. you've already tackled video games. Right, right, uh, that's true. <laughs> we, this would be the first ropes course, but I, I do absolutely love those. Um, mm-hmm. Just as as like an evolution of a uh, regular playground. I don't know about when you were growing up, but whenever I was a kid, there was a place called Discovery Zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, a, a giant indoor playground. Uh-huh. And uh, I think these ropes courses are as close as we get to that these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, DZ was a cool thing, and it was always a series of... It was, it's almost like a McDonald's, like, Playland, Play Place thing. Yeah. But just way, way cooler. And there were um, mesh, like, net things going a- across, like... It was basically yeah. like an overpass. Like, you'd be walking to your table to, like, eat food, and then there's, like, a bunch of kids crawling overhead across <laughs> this tube. Yeah, that, yes. was, that was really cool. But it just seemed a little, like, sketchy, because, like, there was just no adult supervision up there. Like, it's just kids <laughs> crawling around in tubes. That's probably why they're not open anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah, and the ball pits were always people were like barfing in those and Yeah. Oh yeah. But I like 
I like the ropes course one. It's a lot more of an individual activity, and like the big kids aren't going to be knocking you over because <laughs> you can kind of go at your own pace. Exactly. Yeah. And and the thing that's great about rope courses is, and and like Discovery Zone in general, mm-hmm. you're having fun, but you're also getting pretty good exercise. A ton in the of exercise. Yeah. And part of that's because you're in a plastic room. <laughs> like, yes. There's no <laughs> ventilation or anything. It's just, yeah, yeah. That was a cool experience for me as a kid. Like that's, I definitely remember what it feels like to go across those like mesh tube things. So the gummy bears, how tall were they compared to the humans? Were they like half human height? Uh, I think so. I don't particularly well, I, rem- remember them interacting like with a kid standing right next to each other. Um, yeah, I think they were just a little bit shorter than the kid who I think was maybe nine or 10. Uh huh. Okay, so, cool. So they're not they, nearly as small as Chip and Dale would be. No, no. Yeah, so we're going to have to do some kind of shrinking process to our park guests as they walk from one (laughs) to the other. Which, that could be interesting if, like we said, we got that transition of just like a wooded area. So Uh maybe, you know, the trees start out at a certain scale, and then the further you walk, the trees start getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it almost feels like you're getting smaller. It'd be, you know, it'd be hard logistically to make that actually believable, but it'd be kind of cool, (laughs) especially if you make the uh, pathway kind of winding so it's yeah, not like you yeah. can just see a point of reference like, oh, there's uh, this building. Like, I see how big it is from here. Mm-hmm. It's like you're just going through this winding path and the trees keep getting bigger and bigger. That that might actually work. And, like, the uh, yeah. you can start seeing, like, <clears throat> I don't know, if we're, if it's like a gravel um, ground, like when you're walking, it's just gravel. And then the rocks start getting bigger over time as well until eventually mm-hmm. it's just like there's just huge rocks that you're walking <laughs> on. That could be and really... blades of grass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Blades of grass would really add a nice level level of detail there and flowers mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. that could okay cool all right well that that works check i like that <laughs> so we got the... The, the the other option and this is jumping ahead a little bit but yeah. there's an episode of ducktales where they get shrunk down oh cool <laughs> wow yeah so, like, it'd be cool if somehow maybe the rescue rangers world was attached to mm-hmm. the micro ducks area micro ducks that sounds awesome <laughs> i want to check that episode out that sounds fun yeah I, just like you I, w- I was always interested in like the, when you like shrink down and have to climb on stuff even mm-hmm. like the um the rugrats video game i had for game boy like yeah there was a level where you're just like climbing through you know everything's just like way too big like it wasn't drawn to scale but it was like fun to just climb on these everyday objects um mm-hmm. <laughs> as a matter of fact this is one of my other like uh imagination games i've been playing recently is if I was six inches tall in this room and I had to get to the ceiling from the floor, how would I do it? Like, what objects can I move around in this room to a, a, get to a point where I could eventually, like, shimmy and climb my way up, borrowers style, to get oh, all the way wow. to the ceiling? And that's a fun imagination game, depending on what room you're in. It can be, like, almost impossible. But then you're like, oh, there's a broom. Oh, my God. I could get the broom to, like, lean against this and climb up that. It's a fun fun little brainstorming game. That is cool. I, I think I think I did things like that a lot whenever I was younger in church. Uh-huh. Like yeah, right. I was trying to distract myself somewhat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I used to do that when my parents were driving. I'd be looking out the window, imagining that I was like running alongside or like yep. s- like skateboarding on a hoverboard. And, like, what could, what would <laughs> I be too. doing if I was out there? <laughs> <That's> what... <laughs> Sometimes I'd take Hot Wheels and pretend like I was like oh. I'd hold it up in front of my vision yeah. and pretend like I was driving. That's the car. really cool. I I just <laughs> saw on uh, Instagram yesterday actually someone had made Mario Kart characters like the the vehicles the carts and everything and uh-huh. st- like stuck them to their car window and then they just took a video out out their car window of all these like you know mario kart characters driving oh, on cool. the road next to them it was really cool i was <laughs> like that that would be really fun for you know putting the back seat for the kids or something it sounds awesome yeah absolutely that's cool <laughs> cool well excellent so the shrinking episode what what uh caused the shrinkage uh, I believe it's been a while since I've seen it, but mm-hmm. I believe that uh, Gyro Gearloose was making a shrinking ray, and then okay. the kids accidentally get shrunk down. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, that would be uh, that could be one possibility of like trying to get from one of these parks to another one is have that maybe at at the entrance and the exit to mm-hmm. to the you know small areas. There is yep. one attraction you have to go through to get to the next land and yeah. it's just you know either the end of that episode however they got back to normal size or the beginning of that episode however they shrank yeah. could just be reenacted in like you know a quick little five minute 3d theater or 4d theater kind of thing. yeah yeah that, oh, that'd be neat yeah that would be cool and even even you could do a roller coaster um that's just a quick little transition like oh you're big again here you go keep walking right <laughs> <laughs> cool